Greetings, everyone, and welcome to Batasera Nation. So delighted that you could join us. Today, we're going to do a tutorial on some of the advanced settings and features found in Batasera. In fact, this is volume two of a series of tutorials because there are so many wonderful advanced features found in Batasera that probably most users are not aware of and are not taking advantage of them. Today, we're going to focus on the advanced game collection settings found in Batocera. As a matter of fact, I've received a number of requests for this tutorial. Fortunately, after this tutorial, you will be able to create and group your favorite game collections in Batocera. Indeed, whether you like platforms, racing, chumps, shooters, Zelda, Mario games, or Star Wars, or any other collection you enjoy playing, you will be able to organize it all within your favorite theme in Batocera. Are you ready? Let's do it! Before we load up Batocera, I want to go ahead and show you an entry in Batocera's wiki page concerning game collection settings. It's a well-written article that describes all different features regarding game collections. Okay? And of course, I will be showing you all this in my tutorial. But if you want to read it on your own, I will be providing a link in my video description. So let's go ahead and load up Batocera. Okie dokie, so we are in Batocera. Let's go ahead and press the start button on your gamepad and go to game collection settings. And the first item is systems displayed. Go ahead and select that. And you can see here all the consoles and systems that are already included in Batocera system. Okay. Now you can deselect anything you don't want. So let's say, for example, I don't want Jaguar at all. So I can go up here and deselect it. Get out of there. Jaguar is gone. Okay, let's go back in there and let's go ahead and select it again because I want it. All right, let's get out of there. Go to the second item automatic game collections. So you can actually create certain game collections, and there's different collections you can choose from here. Okay, so let's go on the top. So on the top, you've got all games and you've got favorites automatically selected for you. And of course, there they are favorites, all games. But you can get rid of that if you don't want that. So I'll go back in there. And you can deselect that and deselect that. Let's say you just want last played. Let's get out of there. And there it is. Last played is right there. All games and favorites are gone. Go back in there. Game collections. Let's go back there again. I do want all games and I do want favorites as well. This, of course, will let you choose all the two player games you have in your collection. This one's for four players games that you have in your collection, never played. You also have vertical arcade, and this is great for those who have arcade cabinet systems. You can select that as well. And you also have light gun games. Let's go ahead and select that. Show you there. And there it is. Okay. And automatically chooses all the games. From your collection, I have light gun games. Yeah, pretty cool. By the way, I will be doing a tutorial real soon about light gun games, so stay tuned for that. Let's go back in there. And yeah, for the time being, I don't want this just yet. All right. So from the bottom here, you can also choose these as well. Action, adult, adventure, beat em up, casino, so forth and so on. And there's several of them in there. Okay. You can choose all. Oh, let's say I want platform, and I want, uh, I want casino, and I want action. Okay, let's go ahead and get out of there. And notice, if you're looking for them, you don't find them. They're not there. Okay. So what you got to do is go back in there, and go right here. Group on theme custom selection. Well, you don't want to group them just yet. You want to unselect that. And, and there they are right there. Action. There's all my action games. Automatically selected for you. Casino. I've got some casino games. Automatically selected for you. How cool is that? Platform. And there's all my platforms. Okay. 
and I'll tell you what systems these are found. Go back in there again. Let's say you don't want that. Deselect that right there. And let's go back to casino. Notice that they're gone. And yeah, go back to action. Notice that's gone as well. Okay. So it's up to you how you want it. Go back in there. And I do want it. Let's go back up here. All right. Let's go to group systems. You can see here we have three different groups right here. Okay. So for example, we got Mega Drive. We can group the Sega 32X and the Sega Mega Drive into one system altogether. Select that. Now watch. There's my Sega Genesis. So in the Sega Genesis, you can see that on top, I got Sega 32X. Click on the folder. I can there select it from there as well. But you know what? It turns out I don't want that. I kind of want them separated. So go back in there again. Game Collection Settings. And go into Group Systems. And deselect that. And now I got them separated. There's Sega Genesis and there's Sega 32. Okay. Let's go back in there again. Game collection settings. It's going to create new custom collection from theme. Here's where we have all the fun. Now, if you go to the default theme, Carbon, okay, if you notice here that we don't have an option, nothing here but theme, We're creating a collection from the theme. Okay. So let's go back to about to set a club and back to a game collection setting. So each theme will have its own custom collection. Okay. For this particular theme, but to start a club, we have all these that the creator of the theme created separate folders with the icons and the video snaps as well. Now different themes will have different folders all together. So for this particular one, let's go ahead and select chumps. And there it is. You see that? Click on there. There's no entry, so you have to add those manually. To do that, let's go ahead and. All right, so let's go to main. Let's say I want to choose some right here. Let's go down. And let's say I want to choose this one. Go ahead and press the A button, but hold it down. And then go into collections. Chumps. Yeah, I want that there. Galaga 88, hold down the A button, same thing. Galaga, chumps. Galaga 84, chumps. Galaxian. All right, let's go ahead and get out of there. Let's go back to chumps right here. And there they are. So that's how you create custom collections. Okay, let's go back out of here. Let's go in there. Go back in here. Uh, now let's say I want Star Wars. All right, you can see that I got Star Wars. Unfortunately, I don't like that logo right there because it doesn't fit with the other logos. Okay, so there's a way you can change that. In fact, let me show you. Hit F1. I'm gonna go to my portable drive. I've got a logo already there. I've got this logo. Okay that I downloaded off the internet. I'm going to go ahead and copy that. Go into Share. Go into Themes. So we're going to Battle Center Club Reload it. Go there. And look for Star Wars right there. And go right here. There's the old logo. It's called System.png. I'm going to go ahead and copy here. Paste it. And go ahead and rename this to Old. Or I can delete it all together if I want to. And we're going to go ahead and rename this to System. I'm trying to keep the same format that I see originally from the theme itself. System. All right. Let's close this. And voila. <laughs> I like that much better. And from there, I can go into, say, for example, PlayStation. Look for my Star Wars. And I've got a bunch of them. Hold on the A button, go to Add to Custom Collection, and go to Star Wars. Same thing with this one. 
Add to custom collection, Star Wars. Yeah, that's the last one. I know I have one, for example, uh, Sega 32. I can go to Sega 32. And there it is. Look for the Star Wars game. And there it is. Hold on the A button. Star Wars. Then I got Sega Model 3. I got a Star Wars right there. A button. All right. Now, if I go in there, where's my Star Wars? And there it is. And there are my games. And you can see there it works. Okay. So that's how it's done. Now let's go back in there again. Game collection settings. Okay, let's go back to the theme. So for this, again, for this particular theme, about to set a club, we have got all these different collections you can uh, select as well. All right? There's a bunch of them. One of the reasons why I like about to set a club because we have all these different options as well. If I go to another theme, it might be different. So, for example, let's go into UI settings and let's go ahead and pick uh, this theme, for example. Okay, so it does have chumps right there. Looks good. But Star Wars, there's no fancy logo for that one. But they're the games. Okay. So if you really wanted to add this collection to this particular theme or your favorite theme, then you're gonna have to do a little research. Go ahead and hit F1 and go back to themes. Go to this theme with the one I'm trying to add Star Wars and see how it's done with the other ones look at the other consoles you can see here three the s it got these pictures so what i did was i copied this folder into my windows pc i loaded up paint.net and from there i was able just to replace some of these images with star wars images okay uh, and this is what i came up with by no means am i an artist i'm not very good at artwork but just by replacing some of the images, I was able to create the theme itself. So let's go to logos, and there's my and there's my Star Wars collection. Okay. So I went ahead. Let's go ahead and copy this. Let's go back to share themes, the theme itself, and just go ahead and paste it right there. Star Wars, paste it. It's there. All right. So let me go ahead and just show you what I got. Game settings, update games list. All right, there's the Star Wars. You can see there, looks pretty good. The only thing that's missing is the info description. So what I did was for that was I once again press F1 and went back to the themes. I went into the, that folder again. I looked around, I found this one, art. And then I went into language. I went to English. And from there, I went ahead and I copied Chumps and I created a Star Wars folder. And it's right there. Opened it up. Open. And from there, I just kept this the same. And I just changed this right here, the text itself. And I added this in there. Once you make your changes, then go ahead and file, save, right? And then quit. Go on to game settings, update games list, and there it is. Now it's perfect, almost perfect. Again, you can just look at the theme itself and see how it's done with the other consoles. And from there, you can try to figure things out on your own, okay? But that's how I did it. Now with this theme, let's go into game collection settings. Let's go down here. It's got other ones all together, different from the ones from about to set a club. Some are the same, but some are different. Let's see here. Uh, 
Let's try pinball. And from there, you can go ahead and, and manually add them, depending upon what you have in your console collections, okay? Now, let's go back in there again. Game collection settings. Create new edible collection. Go ahead and select that. Now, let's say I want to do my own custom collection. So let's say I want to collect all my Mario games in one collection. Mario games. All right, so there's my Mario game. So from there, I can go ahead and go to my consoles that have those games. So for example, I can go here. And from there, I can go ahead and select my, some of my Mario games right here. Hold down the A button. Add to custom collection. Mario games. Hold down my A button again. Add to custom collection. Mario games. I can also go in here and do the same thing. Go to Nintendo 64 and do the same thing. There it is, Super Mario Brother. Hold down the A button and add to custom collection. And then from there, you can see there, I got all three games, okay? So that's how it's done. Let's get out of here. All right, let's try something different this time. Let's go back into game collection settings. Let's go into custom game collections. Let's go ahead and deselect Mario games. All right. And let's go back into game collection settings. And this time we want to do it differently. We want to do it by this method. Create new dynamic collection. So let's go ahead and type Mario games. And let's go ahead. All right. Let's go into find games. Any game that's got Mario, we're going to include it. And from there, you're going to go into systems. You can choose all the ones that you think have Mario in them. Uh, well, we know this one doesn't, so I can go ahead and just deselect that. Deselect that. And from there, you can deselect everything else. Look at that. It found all those games. Huh? Much better, much easier way to do things. Isn't that cool? I know, that one needs an image. Okay, so that's another way how you can do things, okay? Let's go back and let's go back into game collection settings. You can also sort your systems by using one of these four different options, okay? I like to manufacture, so I'll leave it there. Before I go into these two, let me go ahead and go into this one first. Group on the theme custom collection. Go ahead and select that. And let's back out. You can see now you're going to have a folder called collections. Where is it? There it is. And from there, you can see all your different custom collections as well, okay? Now, this collection folder only works once you've created either a dynamic one or an edible custom collection. Uh, otherwise, it won't work. Now, the reason why you may want to use the collection folder is because sometimes you may want to edit your custom collection or you may want to delete it. So, go ahead and select one, for example, Mario Games. Press Select, and from there, you can either edit things Huh? Or you can delete it altogether. All right. And once you're done, you can either keep your collections folder, or you can go back into your collection settings and go ahead and go ahead and and unselect this right here. Okay. All right. All right. Let's go ahead and go back to game collection settings. Yeah. Let's go back to options here. So here we have start on system. And that essentially means this. Every time Matosera boots up and loads up, you can tell it to where to go. So, for example, for none, 
that tells us go to the main menu. But you can also tell it to pick one of these other consoles. So if, let's say, for example, you really enjoy your main games. That's where most of you play. You can tell about the setup when it first boots up to go directly to main, and I'll go there. And from there, you can also tell it to go onto the game list itself. So you can tell it, for example, go to main and go into this game list. And when it first boots up, I'll come right here. Okay? Let's go back in there. And again, you have different options where you want it to go. And you can even tell it to start directly in Steam. Okay? It's up to you. Okay, and we discussed these two. So the last one is show games of hidden systems in the collection. Uh, that's up to you whether you want to show those games or not. All right, so before we wrap everything up, I want to show you one last thing. I'm going to show you how I created this Star Wars collection for this particular theme, all right? All right, so we're back in our desktop. As I mentioned earlier, I went ahead and copied the 3DS folder and I renamed it to Star Wars. Uh, and for example, I got here Avatar Old. That was the original 3DS Avatar. And I looked at the dimensions and I went ahead and I found Star Wars Avatar almost with similar dimensions. It's almost the same dimensions, okay? And it worked out quite well. Background was a 1080p simple replacement of background. And make sure I kept the same file name, background. Uh, for info, this was a little bit more challenging. There's the original info. So I went ahead and I pulled it up in uh, paint. And I went ahead and I deleted this section. You just typed out Star Wars games. I got the logo and I just shrunk it and put it over here. And then I went ahead and saved it. And when I saved it, that makes sure I call it info.png, all right? And then the logo, I found that Star Wars logo and I kept it with the same file name. Logo, logo-gray, and logo-outline. And this is the old files right there. And then for photo, I also looked at the dimensions of the photo and I went ahead and I replaced it uh, with the same dimension. I shrunk it to the same dimensions and that's how I got this image right there for the Star Wars. And that was it. And from there, I went ahead and copied it to the theme folder. So again, you might have to experiment with some of the themes if you want to create your own custom collection. All right, so that is a wrap. If you found this video useful, please go ahead and like it. It would really help me out with the YouTube algorithms. If this is your first time watching About to Set a Nation, I highly encourage you to come to our website, aboutthesetanation.com. Uh, and there you get a great overview of what About to Set is all about. And what about to set is something you might want to use for your emulation needs. I've got a lot more tutorials coming up. So if you're not a subscriber, please go ahead and consider subscribing. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you next time about to set a nation. Bye.